okay, we here picking her up. We finna take her back to the house and uh, so we can just load her up in the morning and head on out on our camping trip. My grandson, I made him come and he mad, but he ain't never rode in it. He acting like he don't wanna ride, but then he get out the car and jump in the front seat. Paulette's strapping him in the front seat now. <laughs> You know, kids is a mess. I just can't wait. I need a vacation so bad. Since I have not been on no vacation since um, last year. We got back in April of last year. And that was the last time I went anywhere. Um, any, any, any time off where I was away from my house. Other than going to California for a funeral. And that don't count. But I did get to see family and friends, but it was a sad occasion. This time I'm gonna be able to just go to this camping ground and relax, baby. Just get some R and R without having to worry about doing anything. Lord, she's still trying to get him in that in that seat belt look like. Maybe I'm gonna have to go help. Oh, she she look like she finally got it. <laughs> Okay, I'll see you guys. In Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's me, Carmelita from Valida's World. Look what I'm in. I am in Oriva. We are camping and we are here in, I think it's um, Un Unadilla, Unadilla, Georgia at Oz Campground. This is a male campground, all men campground. We had no idea until after we got here and read, finished reading. But they welcome any and everybody. So it is a it's a campsite. We'll call this roughing it smoothly. It's not glamping. It's roughing it smoothly. The glamping part is our RV. The rest is roughing it. But the people are extremely, extremely nice. Everybody has been so wonderful, nice, and helpful. Matter of fact, we didn't even finish checking in. He told us to, oh, just go park and come back. By the time we got parked and set up and went back, he was gone. The office was closed. So that's how nice they are. And um, so they have uh, a lot of people who live at this campground. They, they sell cabins. You can buy spots and build your own. I'm going to go more into that a little later. Right now, let me get some coffee. All right, guys. This is our setup for right now. We're going to move that table over here probably. I'm, or we're going to put our own little table in between. We'll be here for seven days. And I'm getting ready to hit shopping right quick. So, let's go. This is a little bit look around the campground thus far. And I love where we are because we're on the, st that's the uh, wash house, laundry and bath houses. So this is what it's looking like. And I'm getting ready to head on over to finish checking us in. And I'm going to go into town, which is about 33 minutes away. And um, I need to go to Walmart and do some shopping. But this is the campground we're at. Okay. Hope you enjoy. I'm leaving the campground, guys. I don't know what's going on, but my picture is not that clear. This is me leaving. I'm headed up to the office. See how pretty it is? The grounds are really nice. Some of them are nicer than others. That's why I say roughing it smoothly. <clears throat> Okay, I already got the gate open. So I'll be able to go out, go the right way. Because we need to get the gate key so we can get in and out. Um, so I'm gonna go up here to the office and finish up my paperwork. They were so nice. They just let us in last night and didn't um, worry about anything till today because somebody's uh, bus had broke down in our spot. So we had to sit and wait for a few hours. Ooh for about an hour 
Okay. That gate almost closed up on me. Whew, did y'all see that? Ah. Okay, so let me go on around here. Ah. Okay, guys. And this is the office. So I'm gonna pull my car over here and go over to the office and then I'll um, get my paperwork done. Yeah, he's in there. Okay. All right, guys, so this is my ride. I just left the RV park and I'm headed into town, which is uh, 26 minutes away from uh, Camp Grant, Camp Oz. It's the campground is called Oz. So, yeah, I'm 26 minutes from the nearest town. Um, I, I'm come, I'm going by myself. I really didn't want Paulette to go with me because I want to hit up a Goodwill and she'll stop my fun. Um, while I'm out here, I just want to see what they Goodwill is all about. And who knows, I may be able to get some items for my eBay business. Um, yesterday, we went to Bucky's and I got a uh, a uh, three meat Bucky sandwich. I tell you guys, I ate a piece of um, of the turkey off of it. The, the, uh, barbecue turkey is a barbecue sandwich. I ate a little piece of uh, the chopped beef, uh, um, not beef, the chopped, what well, was beef, but it was uh, brisket. A, a little small uh, chip, you know how they had a chunk. So I ate like a, 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 a two little pieces of the brisket and a little piece of the, the sausage. That was it. The whole sandwich is in the freezer. I didn't eat none of the bread or anything. That is so hard on my stomach still is what I'm noticing. So that's all I ate of that, the whole sandwich. Not a half, not a fourth, not a, I say a point two of the meat is what I ate. And that's what I put in my um, app. And um, then uh, for dinner, I had a protein shake. I had a protein shake for breakfast, uh, the point two of the Bucky sandwich without the bread, and then a protein shake for dinner. I also ate, I'm on vacation, so I did eat one macadamia cookie from Bucky's. So that's all I ate yesterday. Um, and uh, I haven't eaten anything so far today and it is 12.02. I had a cup of coffee and now I'm drinking on me some water. I just don't be hungry. Um, it's like uh, that often. And when I do eat, I don't want much of anything. It's, it's, it's hit or miss with me right now, hit or miss. So anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Let me, um, I, I tried to hook up, set up my phone in the um, car. Uh, I bought this this uh, thing that's supposed to hook hook to the um, mirror where I can add my cell phone to it and record and talk to you guys. And it's too small for to hang on the mirror. The way it looked, it's like it will work, but it don't work on this truck. So that was a waste of money. I'm probably, I'm gonna try and send it back. I don't like the way it came in the box anyway. All right, talk to y'all later. All right, guys. So we in Walmart and I'm going to get started and get the items that we need. We got a lot to get, pick up. Paulette oh, said we need some batteries. I'm not spending no $15 on the batteries now. She said we need some AAA. She thought they were AAs. So, let me turn this camera around so you all can see what I'm looking at. And they got music playing, so I'm not gonna have you guys on. I am going to hang this up because I don't have time to be getting copyrights, all right? So I'll talk to y'all later. Hey guys, it's me. And I'm getting ready to go for a walk at Camp Oz. So, I'm just gonna walk around and get my little walk on. I haven't walked today. I didn't get to walk yesterday because we was too busy packing the RV and 
getting out here. It took us three hours to get here. So, yeah. So now I went to Walmart this morning, which is 26 minutes away from where we we're at. And I did a little shopping, but that wasn't enough, you know, uh, walking. I only got in 1,800 steps in the store, although I was in there for a while. So I said, well, let me just walk the campground. Um, they're supposed to be having something this weekend for St. Patrick's Day. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to show you guys a little bit. Look at these little houses. This is somebody's RV and he built that all around his RV. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at it. So some people stay on campgrounds. Campgrounds have um, full-time people here and part-time. And at this campground, you can um, build your spots on the land. Like right here, this is a cute cabin like somebody had built. And it's beautiful with a long front porch. And now all they have to do here is they just pay for the space rent. And I think he said the monthly space rent here is $500, something like that. So, yeah, it's a good way to save money, especially if you retired. I'm not going all back up in there. I'm going to stay on this road for today. Oh, he's a big one over there. That's what you call a fifth wheel. Those of you who don't know RBs, that's a fifth wheel. And those are huge. They're like houses on the inside. Here's another fifth wheel where the guy pays monthly who actually live here. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? He got the little wooden fence put around it and everything. He got his patio area over there for when friends come, the patio seating, just nice. And then there's another cabin over there. And there's other spots on that, that way. Well, nope, there's a hill, so I'm gonna go this way. I don't wanna walk up no hill. My knee is just popping. I'm, I'm listening to it going, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> okay. She is popping up a storm. That just means I haven't moved her enough the last couple of days, sitting in that car for that drive and stuff. See, he built a deck on his back deck. Yeah, and the, they... He, the guy who checked us in yesterday, he said that they allow you to um, add on to your place and everything because you're paying for so much space. And they even added an extra bedroom to their cabin, an extra living area. Look at that one. Really nice. The white furniture on the deck and they got the stop sign. Look at that, the street stop light. Beautiful white patio furniture. Yeah. I know some people think, I know she's not out there in that wilderness. Yes, I am. Nothing like camping. See, and all those back up there. I won't be walking fast because it's really rocky, as you guys can see. See the ground? It's really rocky and hilly and stuff. Ooh, that's a big old dragonfly or bee or whatever. Hope you don't bite me. Uh, booby way. Oh, this is the restrooms and stuff. This is the bathhouse. Restrooms and bathhouse and stuff.
Ooh, Jesus. This is a huge campground. It's bigger than what we thought. There's another one. Somebody stayed here. They built a deck and stairs onto their RV. Probably a, a worker because of a lot of people who live here work here. Yeah. Probably a lot of workers back here. Hi. <laughs> That's a worker. He's changing out the towels in the bathhouse. <sighs> Yeah, isn't it beautiful, guys? And I guess um, people can camp. They got camp trails all up in here. More than what we thought. We thought it was a small place. It's massive. Like, you can see that road? Probably leads you to more camp sites back up in there. I'm just gonna... Whew. I'm walking this hill. I avoided one hill just to come across another hill, huh? See, oh, they even built them a garage. Well, it ain't a garage, it's like a storage. And they got the huge propane thing. Oh, they got huge propane, so these are permanent residents back here, too. They got a lot of permanent residents. So we're up in the front, so I guess that's the, um, for you rent for you know, daily, day use camping. And I also showed you guys, I also have in this vlog, the tent area. And that's cute, the way they built that. They little sunshade spot where they can sit out. These are the little cabins, little cabin houses. Oh, they got kitchens in them because they all got their own huge things of propane. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Mm, that's a beautiful one. Log cabin. It ain't log. But it's nice. Cabin bill. And I guess a spot where they all can share. Beautiful. In the front yard and stuff. Mm, nice. I've been walking for eight minutes. see what this sign says up here and then I'm gonna put you guys away because my hand is hurting oh, oh lord it's numbing up my hand is truly numbing up warning please do not feed the Sasquatch oh <laughs> So this is a walking trail. <laughs> See, please do not feed the Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, Lord. They don't have no bear sign, so I don't think they got bears. Oh, Jesus. See, I almost slipped and fell. That's why I'm going to put you guys down. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna hang up. Bye for now. Child, your girl done got all twisted up, walking around. I'm hoping this lead me out. Oh, I think it is. Ooh, I'm finally seeing RVs again. I got all up in the bush, baby. She was all back up in there. I even took off running because I heard something in the trees. <laughs> I couldn't run fast. I did a little step, step, two step, two step, step, step. <laughs> run through there. Whew. But I was right. I said, God to walk me back around <sighs> to meet up where I started at least. Whew. <sighs> so that's what I did. And I'm walking down to the main road now. Oh, because wasn't nothing back up in there but trees, baby. But I, so I stayed on the trail. One thing I remember, you never get off the trail when you somewhere you don't know nothing about. That's how you get twisted and lost when you get off the trails. So it led me right back to the road that I started on. Whew. I could have went another way and I said, nope, I wasn't going down that road. That was too far. Okay. Not me. Yeah, I think I seen these. Yeah, this is the same spot. I seen these already. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That was a good 20 minutes. So I probably got in about 30 minutes. Because it was 10 minutes when I hit this spot. So, yeah. Probably another five. So this is going to be about a 30, 40 minute walk. Oh, time goes fast when you're walking in places you don't know. All right, guys. I'm back at the bathhouse. Take a breath. Because I did take off and try to run. Okay. I'll talk to y'all later.